Welcome back to my show. I'm the Bear Adventure. I'm Carissa. And I finally found Natty Boo. So I got some National Bohemia. This is one of those older beers that everybody's heard of. It was up on like New England. I, I read it. It says it's from Latrobe, Pennsylvania, which is where uh, Rolling Rock was originally made. This is one of those that like I used to see in movies and I'd heard about it. And like this was back like PBR, um, you know. Is it a lager? Or, uh, or just. It was brewed in, first brewed in 1885. Probably not a lager. Good. <laughs> but this is one of those like granddad beers. Well, I can tell you that I, I, when I found it, I was looking to see if I could grab a single because I was buying singles when I was at the place and I couldn't find any singles. And I look around the corner and there was a 12 pack for like $9. So I was like, well, I hope it tastes good because I'm about to drink a fucking truckload of this it's shit. very bubbly. You know, honestly, it look, it's, it's given me like PBR. High life, you know, like Schlitz, like the old school beer. Smells good. I'm going in. Cheers. Yep. It's got like the old school granddad beer thing going on. I'm not upset about it either. It's light. Just a tiny bit sweet, but kind of got that old beer. I like it. Taste. I like it. I surprised. Surprisingly, I'm not, like it a lot. I'm not upset at it at all. I mean, it kind of is what I what I expected it to be. Like, like you could drink a lot of that. Yeah. Four point five. Yeah. Dog, this is a fishing beer. Yeah. Fishing beer. Uh, hanging out by the pool beer. Sitting by the fire beer. This. Sitting out on the front porch. This is also what my uh, my dad's family called maintenance beers. Like you drink a couple nice beers and then you would like catch a buzz and then you switch over to something cheap so that tasted meantime. good. Yeah. Like when you were, you know, mowing the yard, like. This is an everyday beer. Doesn't have a strong aftertaste. It has a little sweetness to it. It's very, it's but very it's, bright. Yes. <laughs> uh, it actually has, it actually has way nicer mouthfeel than I would anticipate mm. from something this light. Um, yeah, so the initial verdict is I'm not upset that I got 11 more. Mm. Um, yeah, I could drink several of those. That's a pounding beer too. Well, now I know why Why I heard so many people just like, ah, you know, just get a Natty Boo. Because that's what I'd heard it called from all those people up there. Not National Bohemia. Oh, Natty, Natty Boo. Boo. Yeah. Okay. This is a beer that would do fantastic in a quart or a 40. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm down. It's giving me kind of Ham's vibes, too. Mm hmm uh maybe old style it's got that mm -hmm. it's pleasant live pleasantly wow it says okay pleasantly. um and <laughs> i'm not i'm not i mean I, i'm sure there's a lot of folks that are gonna <laughs> bag on it because it's not you know triple dry hop it's not 17 percent alcohol it's not doesn't look like motor oil. Um, like, there's a lot it's not, but there's, there's a lot, lot that, that it is. is. I don't know. I'm there's, kind something, of, there's something to be said for the simple things in life. Okay. Um, and I mean, hell, it this it might be... I'm not a brewer. I'm friends with a bunch of brewers. And it might be a pain in the ass to make something this, like, mellow and subdued. Mm -hmm. But... The taste is simple, and that's kind of what I like. Uh, like it, it may be a complete beast to make, but mm 
They've been making it for a long time. I think they know what they're doing. Mm, it smells good. And like I said, I paid less than $10 for a 12 pack. So I'm not upset about that. Right. Cause I drink some really nice kind of high end beers, but here's your shower beer. Yeah. Sometimes I just want a nice little, that's why I still drink hams and high, high life. life and a PDR. Life. <laughs> well, it's, it's a, it's a nice mellow mm -hmm. inexpensive beer. I've come to really appreciate the mellower beers a whole lot. She um, is completely both ends of the spectrum. It's like, I want this super duper mellow chill beer, or I want a imperial barrel aged 13% alcohol stout. I might try. Yeah. What's wrong with that? And I'm there for both of them. I mean, they're both fucking good. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are enjoying this video uh and i hope you are hit the like button uh go ahead subscribe i put out lots of videos usually about three a week sometimes even more um i'm gonna see what i can find and i'll put down in the description down there you're also going to see my merch links and uh all my social media and stuff like that um i really need to put more stuff on my instagram and facebook but Sometimes I'm spending more time editing than, you know, filming these. Super fun because you get to drink. Editing these, eh, kind of tedious, whatever. Part of the game. Um, hey, if you buy anything off the merch store, I'll get some money. I'll spend it on more beer because I have to buy a lot of beer to do three of these a week. So, uh, one day... I'm going to be able to be monetized and then I can have a business and I can take beer off my taxes. Woo! Redneck dream. Um, but until then, let's talk about it down there in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, have you guys ever had this? Uh, what's your like? I keep wanting to call them granddad beers, but I, there's got to be a better name mm. for that older beer. Because that I need to make a playlist because I've had high life and old style and... Um, PBR and like I don't I don't know what to call those beers. Classics. That's a good name. I think they're um, classics. Yeah, but I, there's there there needs to be something. And if you guys want to see a playlist of that, like maybe I I can try to work out a playlist of that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, and then maybe eventually I need to do a a classic off <laughs> where we pit the classics oh, against each other. <sighs> that could be cool. That could be cool. Yeah. Um, but let's go ahead and get down to it. Did you dig it? I did. I did. More than I thought I would. Me, oh, we, me way more than I yeah. thought I would. I thought I was going to be like, okay with it, but instead I like it. Mm -hmm. Would I have it again? I yeah. Would. I got 11 more and, and I'm I'd not have, upset. And I'd have several I've promised, I promised one to somebody cause he's never had it. Uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Gordon, he's a brewer locally. I said something to him. He's like, oh, I've never even had that. I'm like, I've got one. I'll bring it to you. Um, so I'm going to do my best <laughs> to not drink them all. Now, yeah, would you have more in a row? I think that's what this was designed for. Yeah. Drink a couple I, of them. I would have, I would, I would have several. I'd right? like to, I'd like to try it on draft. Mm. That could be really nice. That could be really nice. You know, a cold pint of this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, and, you know, would it go well food? I think those will do with anything, man. Oh, gosh, yes. I'm like. Hamburger, hot dog. Ham and cheese hamburger. sandwich. Ham like, it doesn't sandwich. matter. <laughs> like, this This is a. Just just not breakfast. That's a whole other issue. Just saying. Could be. <laughs> hey, breakfast for dinner. <laughs> no, I'm breakfast, breakfast. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> So let's get down to it. On a, on a, on a one to ten, where are you at? I'm at an eight. I, I really like it. I am too. And here is the dead honest why. Real quick. It tastes good. It was better than I expected. Mm -hmm. And it's cheap. I mean... Yeah. Like, it ticks off so many boxes. 
And they've been doing it for a long time, so they know what they're doing. Yeah. It's going to be the same thing every time. Right. So, there's well, they, nothing wrong with that. Well, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers.